Um, hello, subscribers, patrons, fans, followers, supporters, and generally anyone who happens to stumble across my videos. Welcome to another edition of How to Art with Johnston Black Horse. And uh, <laughs> and um, in this uh, video, going to be going over how to draw the torso. So let's uh, go ahead and get started. Okay, how to draw the torso. <sighs> All right. All right. Yeah. Oh, 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 man, I'm tired. Okay. Are you ready? All right. All right. Pay attention. Okay. <sighs> Alrighty then. Ready, set, go. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, this week's edition of How to Art. Uh, next week we'll go over. <laughs> oh, just kidding. Um...
<laughs> uh, I, I'm just I'm just screwing around. Oh, hey, wow, Devin. <laughs> Um, wow, Devin says already. Then uh, what the question mark? Oh, okay. I thought you were bullshitting. <laughs> Never mind. And then yeah, uh, we all had a had a big laugh. But anyway, um, uh, let me go farther in depth with uh, what I had just splashed on the page here. How long did that take me? About five minutes, I guess more or less. But anyway, on the, on this next page, let me just outline more or less what I what I did. And um, in drawing the torso, let's, uh, let's go ahead and map out our like a general pose for our torso. And what I'm going to do is just kind of draw it at like a three quarter view. And it's more or less going to be somewhat the like at the same angle as this. So the character is going to be facing this way, just kind of like a somewhat of a turned angle. So again, start with the uh, three quarter view, and right here I'm just um, outlining the rib cage. And in this. Uh, <laughs> on this particular drawing, I'm just gonna go over all 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 the the quickness I I, I did here, and um, just uh, explain more in depth of um, everything that I everything that I put in there. But um, a little uh, may, maybe perhaps with a little more accuracy, because <laughs> I was just uh, just speed drawing just for the hell of it. But anyway. Hey, wow, Devin, uh, how you doing? I hope you're doing okay. But um, here we have. Uh, let me let me go ahead and get my little my little eraser. Oh, <laughs> there's there's no one viewing right now. <laughs> I got no nobody watching at the moment. So that was just me talking to myself. I was just talking to myself for a little bit there. Anyway, um, again, just uh, roughing in the the rib cage, and I'm going to go ahead and just um, lightly, or I, I shouldn't do it too lightly because uh, all everyone, anyone who watches this needs to be able to visually see what it is I'm doing. So. Here's my rib cage, and here I'm doing like a like a little like rough sketch of the um, the pelvic bone, just to map it out. And drawing a general line from the um, like the top of the sternum all the way down to the bottom of the sternum, and all. And this uh, line will just um, show us where the uh, middle of the uh, abdominal muscles are going to go. And you just trace that all the way down to the below the pelvic region. And um, what I like to do at this point is like um, I like to draw from the rib cage and kind of draw like a little indentation that just kind of swoops all the way down toward the uh, – the pelvic region, and then on the same on the other side, like uh, following down from the rib cage down to the pelvic region, and um, this is where the crotch area is going to be, and the um, the light sketches I did for the uh, pelvis. Um, here I'm going to accentuate the iliac crest on both sides a little bit. We have that right there. And right here, I'm uh, just doing like a, just uh, doing a little guideline to put the, um, to place the shoulder, uh, place the shoulders. And then um, I like to draw in the clavicle. Like your, your little, uh, your, your collarbones on, uh, on both sides. 
And this will help um, do uh, somewhat of the framework for putting in the, um, well, well, the uh, trapezius muscles and um, just like really roughing in the, um, the pelvic muscle, not pelvic, <laughs> the, the pectoral muscles. So right now I'm just like doing like little guides to um, just uh, draw like a baseline for the pectorals. And again, I'm gonna just um, follow this, uh, this middle line. But uh, I also like to put like little indentations here under the uh, clavicles or the, the, the collarbone because um, there's like a little slight indentation like um, under the collarbone. And uh, sometimes it like really helps to, well, not sometimes, but it does really help if you know the, uh, um, the bone structure. So right here, the clavicle, the, the collarbones will connect to the sternum here. And if you look at um, anatomy books, like the sternum, um, when you take a look, like I'll, I'll just like outline it here to accentuate. It kind of looks like a, a tie, like a, like a, that, that's what your, um, your breast plate, plate is uh, shaped like, like the, uh, the sternum region is just somewhat shaped like a tie. And you got like a little dangly part right here. And I hear like, um, uh, I don't know if it's actually true or legit, but uh, I think it's somewhat of a myth that if you break this bone, like the tip of it right there, that bone will shoot up into your heart and kill you. <laughs> It sounds it sounds terrible, but you know I've never heard of a case like that. But I think it it may just be like a like an urban myth or something. But anyway, um, so like uh, I just drew like the 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 sternum or the 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 breast uh, breastbone or chest plate bone that goes over your heart, uh, just to show like uh, what the um, what the collarbones are connected to. And the collarbones, like they're shaped uh, in a somewhat of a curvy pattern. They're not like a straight, like a straight on bone. But if you look up, um, like a dig up an anatomy book or purchase an anatomy book that uh, has the skeletal structure. Oh wow, Devin, you're back. <laughs> um, love the descriptions of how the bones work. Yeah. <laughs> You disappeared there for a little bit. I was like asking, like how <laughs> how you were doing, and then I looked up, and then nobody was here. I was talking to myself. But anyway, yeah, the um, the uh, collarbones are connected to the the sternum right about here, and the collarbones uh, loop around to the shoulders, and they kind of house the um, the the joint of the. Uh, Shoot, what is that? What is the arm bone called? <laughs> ah, I got it. Some, some, one of these days, uh, I'm going to memorize these uh, bones and such. The humerus. Ah, duh, of course. That's why, that's why it's called the funny bone when you hit your, your elbow. So this, like, it houses like this, um, uh, this ball joints of the humerus and the clavicle uh, on the top here is um, also somewhat connected to the, um, the um, shoulder blades that, that wrap around the back. But since we're drawing the front, I won't really go into that. And I'll probably like cover that uh, later on. That's cool. Uh, wow, Devin said he he disappeared a little while because he was he was busy texting, and um, so we have like the the clavicle here, and I'm gonna go ahead and like follow the um, the guidelines that I put down. Let me go ahead and like lightly erase this sternum that I had put in here. Oh, let me erase that a little more. But that was just like a somewhat of an illustration to just show you like some of the, the, the bone structure, the underlying bone structure. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and start drawing in the uh, pectoral muscles. And this is a pretty uh, interesting um, 
somewhat of a little guideline here, but the trapezius muscles, you know, that uh, wrap around toward the back of your neck um, and like the neck muscles themselves. Let me draw these muscles in here a little bit. And you got these uh, muscles that uh, connect to the um, the collarbones here on the on the corners, and they the the, the sinewy uh, ligaments and the muscles wrap around like to the side of your like under your chin or like um, right around the back of your not not your chin your 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 jaw bones, and like the trapezius muscles they kind of wrap around the back here, and Right where the neck meets the trapezius muscles, you can draw like a little swooping uh, line here that goes around and under like the um, the collarbone here, and and this and this little guideline will just kind of wrap around under the deltoid, not deltoid. Is it the deltoid? Oh man, the shoulder muscle. I'm pretty sure it's called the deltoid. Uh, yeah, deltoids. <laughs> oh, shoot. Wow, Devin is doing all right. Glad to hear that. So this uh, guideline will help you um, kind of flesh out where the, the trapezius uh, muscle just wraps around and connects to the uh, collar collarbone here but you can also trace that little arc uh, that uh, will wrap around the uh, deltoid right here and this is where the deltoid will connect to the collarbone too and the pectoral muscle here that will tuck underneath the deltoid as well And like um, under the de under the deltoid, like the, that, uh, there comes your bicep and your triceps there behind that. But I uh, guess we'll get into that later and uh, um, later um, tutorials. So we're gonna just simply follow like more or less what we did here. Let me go ahead and erase some of these little sketch lines where I outlined the uh, clavicle bone and the. Uh, the humerus, and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So again, like the trapezius muscle that wraps around the other side of the neck and where the neck meets the trapezius muscles, we're gonna just uh, draw the swooping line that goes like uh, more or less under the collarbone and wraps like under the uh, other deltoid. And then from under that, under this deltoid, like we'll go ahead and draw like a little line that kind of goes into this pectoral muscle. So we have that right there. And then, oh man, <laughs> maybe I should do a little more studying before I um start one of these tutorials again like i meant to do that this time but i just spaced it because i've been working on like another commission and I, I i finished it like these are commissions that i had left over from ages ago and uh this is the first complete one like uh, i had been commissioned to do um family portraits like um ages ago but due to personal life struggles and such like i kept having to put it off but i'm just now getting around to finishing them and this is the first complete one and I believe I have two or three more to go so once these are done like I'll be free and done with commissions but uh, that that's that's what I was uh, working on today so I didn't have much time to prep for this <laughs> for this how to how to art session but anyway I hope um, just plow on through this but um, I was I was hoping to like uh, learn some of the names for these muscles because there's like a set of muscles like that are more or less under the pectorals, but uh, they're they're not the abdomens just yet. So 
what I like to do is I like to draw like the, the this line that um, this angle that comes from the deltoid and swoops under the pectoral. I like to carry this all the way down to like uh, this part here. Now these uh, these pair of muscles, like I um, I like to uh, level out right at the um, the apex of the this this little arc here for the rib cage. And then from here, this is where I draw the, um, oh shoot, I can't remember what these muscles are called, but I just refer to them as the, as the wings. <laughs> I don't know, like uh, what other people refer to them as, but um, it's just these uh, series of muscles that, um, that uh, go along the side of your, your rib cage here. Now in later uh, tutorials, I might go more in depth of um, how these muscles connect to the muscle or the bone structure. But um, with these wings in place or uh, or whatever, <laughs> Uh, but um, I'm going to go ahead and like just uh, draw in some of like rough guidelines for the um, the abdominals, the top uh, two sets of abdominal muscles, and right here under the uh, I guess the second set of, of, of abdominal muscles, you have the belly button. Now when drawing the abdominal muscles and the side muscles, like um, generalized, like a generalization of like where to have these muscles connect. As you can see these um, side muscles here, I'm gonna go ahead and look up the actual term for these muscles. Next time I'll be more prepared, I swear, I'll do my studying. These are called obliques. <laughs> Wait, obliques and let latissimus dorsi dorsi. I, I've never heard of anyone refer to these side muscles as let latissimus dorsi, but I've heard of obliques. So yeah, these are your your oblique muscles. Now, what I like to do for like my little, um, my, my personal drawings is, uh, and I'm not even sure if this is like um, anatomically correct, but um, it's it's probably not, but I like to just do it just because it's like a, just a simple rule that I follow is, um, as, you, as you can see here, uh, shoot, I wish I could zoom in, but oh, let me just carry it up. So, uh, I guess these are obliques, and I, I'm assuming these are the latissimus dorsi, but uh, under this, I should have looked up this muscle when I had the chance. <laughs> Man. Okay, what is that muscle called? No, oh, wait. Okay. The latissimus dorsi is like uh, more along the um, the side here, which wraps around the back. These muscles here are the serratus anterior. <laughs> I'm never going to remember that. And this muscle, shoot, is the rectus abdominis. Huh. Rectus abdominis, is that correct? I guess that's just more or less the ab, the ab, ab muscles, the whole thing there. Anyway. <laughs> so, more or less what I like to do is like, uh, I like to follow this arc for the, the, these part of the abs and then just kind of like follow that through all the way down. And for each two, the, the bottom one, here, the, the bottom of the pair of uh, obliques will lead into like um, this next pair of uh, abdominal muscles. So this one 
this pair will like lead on down to that next uh, pair of abdominals. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, start um, defining some of these muscles. Now, when I draw the um, the navel or the belly button, it's like um, when I draw it, it's it usually lines up to the bottom of the rib cage or just slightly below it. You don't want the uh, belly button too high or too low, otherwise it just looks weird. And this is starting to look a little weird, so I'm going to increase the size of some of these abdomens. Let these uh, muscles line up a little bit. And then I'm uh, going to go ahead and just um, do this little pouch for the uh, more or less the love handles. What, what are those called? Let me, let me refer to my anatomy book. Obliques externus. How many obliques are there? No, wait. Okay, what is that? Oh, obliques internus. So I guess it's still part of the obliques. <laughs> Uh, wow, Divin says, oh, yes, I was looking for that book online and couldn't find it, so that sucked. Oh, damn. Do they? I wonder if they even sell it anymore. That would that would be horrible if it was out of print because <laughs> I've been recommending it left and right. And he continues to say, and when I say online, I mean the Play Store on mobile. Huh. I never tried to look for it there, but I, I guess he – can still like uh, look for it elsewhere. I, again, this this book I like to refer to a lot is the Artistic Anatomy, um, book by Dr. Paul Riker, professor of anatomy at the Ecole des. Oh wow, that that's like a French French name, <laughs> and the Ac Academy of Medicine, Paris, translated and edited by Robert Beverly Hale. Huh. It's the great French classic on artistic anatomy available for the first time in paperback. How old is this book? Oh, I'll have to look that up later. But yeah, it's a pretty awesome book. So again, I'm going to do the same thing on the um, this other side. Draw in the obliques here, here, and the this... Uh, other part of the obliques there. Huh, I'm not even following my previous uh, little sketch of the um, iliac crest. I guess I drew it a little too low. So now my iliac crest has moved slightly higher, right about here. Put some let's put some shorts on this guy. So yeah. And that's how I more or less uh, sketch a torso. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and just uh, ink a little bit of it and then erase the sketch lines just uh, 
just to see what we come out with. And when you're inking, it's like um, you don't want to ink every every sketch line you put down because right now it just looks like a like an anatomy study. And um, <laughs> when I was drawing like a lot of my action um, action poses and hero figures and everything, like um, I would always I was always in the habit of just um, uh, defining every muscle. And each, so then, which resulted in each of my action characters just looking like a, an, an anatomy study. So when you um, get down to like uh, finalizing your, your character, it kind of comes with a practice of like knowing which uh, muscles to, um, to define and, uh, and which lines are are more important to lay down, you know, to um, just uh, get the point across that your your character is a certain type of build or something. So that way you don't have to detail like every every single line because if you do again like um, it'll result in your character looking like uh, just a muscle anatomy study or just ma making it look like your character has the uh, has no skin and um several years ago just learning how to draw and just uh, drawing like a bunch of like uh, hero characters like they they all more or less looked like they they had no skin and they were just all just just muscle So I'm just doing a quick, uh, really quick and rough inking job here. I drew this deltoid too small, but oh well, I'm just gonna have to live with it. Hmm. Why didn't I put them in boxer briefs? Those are way more comfortable.
think he's leaning way too far off to one side. Uh, that's that's as, that's as good as that as can get. But anyway, let's uh, erase all the sketch lines. See what we have. Oh shoot! <laughs> There's like uh, one line I forgot to ink. And just make it look like he's real cut. There we go. There we go. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, wow, Devin, that does say Haynes. There we are. Hey, Cal Larkin. Got Cal Larkin just popped up. So there we have like a really just rough example of a, <laughs> or more in-depth example of what I did here. So um, with all that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just do another one. Uh, maybe do like a different pose. Um, first, I'm going to just draw the whole torso and... See what kind of extreme pose I can put this uh, torso in. Okay, so here we have the the rib cage. Drawing the orbs here on the sides to indicate the shoulders. And I'm drawing this uh, circle here to indicate the um, the uh, top of the rib cage. And drawing a line right down the middle to show the, the uh, I guess, the... Um, Separate the left and right side of the torso. I'm gonna just uh, darken the rib cage in a little bit, just so I can make it um, a little easier to see on camera. And gonna go ahead and just uh, feel out where the. Uh, pelvic pelvic uh, bone would be pelvic area okay so again here I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, draw little indicators for the clavicle you know the collarbone little indent where the uh, collarbones uh, connect to the sternum and here just uh, be mindful of how the collarbone wraps around to the uh, um, the the joints of the humerus, the arm bone on both sides. And here you'll see that some somewhat see that um, it connects to the. Uh, the shoulder blade and just wrap around back there, but don't have to pay too much attention to that. Probably cover that in a later video, which will have to come later than next week because next week I have uh, scheduled um, to draw fabric. How to draw fabric on your characters. Okay, so like um, I'm gonna go ahead and just draw a little bit of the neck. Draw the muscles that uh, connect to the corners of the, um, the collarbone, wrap around the neck to the jaw and the back of the neck. And here's the trapezius muscle, 
that um, wraps around the back of the neck as well. But this line swoops down and remember, it's gonna swoop down and um, this is where it connects to the, um, the collarbone, but uh, also where the collar or the, 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 <laughs> the um, trapezius muscle, where the trapezius muscle connects to the collarbone on the opposite side, that's where the uh, deltoid muscle will begin and then just uh, go down and wrap to wrap around the uh, the arm. I'm just going to draw like a arm right here, but I'm um, just going to go ahead and detail a little bit uh, the shape of the, um, the deltoid. And the deltoid, uh, as it connects to the... Um, um, the collarbone here on the on the back side it's going to connect to the uh, the shoulder blade what is the shoulder blade called the I don't know I'm just curious right now I gotta figure out what the shoulder blade is called scapula <laughs> I wanted to say spatula yeah, deltoid wraps around the back to the spatula muscle. I think you mean scapula. Yeah, scapula muscle. And so, like, um, under the deltoid here, it's, it's, that's where the, uh, the, uh, <laughs> uh, the, the, the pectoral muscle or the chest muscle wraps under. And it'll come around around the chest. Again, drawing little indentations for the, um, for the clavicle. Doing it on both sides. Gotta lower the arch of my rib cage here. Make room for Make room for these huge muscles that I'm drawing. I don't know what voice that was. It was like an Arnold Schwarzenegger, friggin' Christopher Walken hybrid. Run, get to the chopper. Go. <laughs> Come on, Bennett. I know you want the sticks and knife in me. Look into my eyes and see what happens in there when you turn it. Get to the chopper! Let's see what the party wreck the. You are one ugly son of a bitch. Crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and hear the lamentations of the women. Crom. Drawing some of the obliques. Man, this guy's really bent over. Maybe he's doing like a high kick or something. Yeah. Drawn in the obliques, latissimus dorsi, this other part of the obliques. You go down to the, uh, point down to the crotch. Let's not forget the iliac crest. Go ahead and give him some sizable glutes because he works out. Give him some sensible undies, maybe uh, maybe some boxers this time. Yeah.
and draw a big old oval for his head. And there we have it. Uh, I don't know if you can clearly see that, but uh, let me just go ahead and bring that closer to the camera. So, <laughs> um, I'm not sure if like many of you were able to follow along, but uh, let me go ahead and get rid of some of these, uh, erase some of these sketch lines. Maybe I should ink it again. Just throw some rough inks on top of that. Uh, let me see which which pen. I'm going to use the brush pen. Okay. Let's quickly ink this sucker. Oh, that was a terrible face. I was trying to draw it at an angle. <laughs> but when I look at it straight on, it's just way off. But yeah, you'll get the general idea. Drawing the torso and such.
me see if I can fix this face. I don't think there's any saving it. <laughs> I like your reference there, Cal Larkin. We do it live! Oh, geez. I hope I didn't yell too loud. Hold on. There we go. I don't know if anyone can read that. <laughs> Got to throw some action lines in there. Now I'm just messing around. Supposed to be teaching people, Black Horse. Not screwing around. Come on. What are people paying you for? Well, I'm not quite getting paid. I, I can, I'm, I'm getting con contribu contributions and donations and such. But, uh, um, yeah. But you got to educate the people, Black Horse. You got you to gotta show them how to draw. I'm, I'm showing them how I draw. I, I don't know if that, that helps all too much. Yeah, but you gotta take it seriously. You gotta you gotta come up with lesson plans and know the names and muscles and stuff. You know, uh, the, the, it's just so it's just so hard. I'm not a very good teacher. Those I, 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 I'm doing the best I can. Yeah, but you can do better. I believe in you, Black Horse. Ah, pff, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. I got to stop talking to myself. I'm a real downer. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. <sighs> Why well, Devin says, I feel like all artists talk to themselves. I, I, I don't doubt it. I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, wrap up that, um, wrap up this um, session here. We've gone about almost an hour. So uh, thanks to those who participate in the chat. It's always uh, wonderful to interact with uh, uh, the followers and uh, subscribers and such. And uh, <laughs> Cal Argan says, I'm not crazy. My mother had me checked. 
And um, to all those uh, who are watching this later, um, to support more videos like this, I do have a Patreon. Uh, leave the link in the description below. You can also check out my Patreon page. We've got a lot of free content there. If you like what you see, then go ahead and think about becoming a Patreon of mine at my, or a patron of mine at my Patreon page. And if Patreon's not your thing, I also have a GoFundMe account. So I'll leave that link in the description below as well. And I'm also a member of uh, DeviantArt, Fur Affinity, and Ink Bunny. So if you're a member of any of those sites, you can start following me on them sites and I'll leave all those links in the description below. So um, hope you hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, Again, uh, thanks to Wow Devin and Cal Larkin for participating. They're they're regulars, and it's always uh, it's always pretty fun to have you guys around. So cool. So I guess uh, like always, I'll check y'all later. Bye. Laters, man. End stream.